Hello and welcome back to my tutorial. This is my final part and it's just finishing up your track and doing the final touches, the skybox, and publishing it to the Steam Workshop once you're finished. So now that you have your track complete, you have your decorations, your lights, you have the checkpoints, you have the obstacles, the buildings, and endpoints. You're pretty much done with the track. You want to go to the level settings and you have your level name right here. And then you, this is where you decide the uh, general settings for your track. So for this one I want it to be a sprint, you can make it be a stunt, or speed and style, soccer, or tag, anything. Uh, for the music, you can choose whatever music you want. I'm not going to choose right now, otherwise it will go for my voice, and my voice will sound really soft. So I'll skip that for now. Um, for the skybox, uh, you, this is where you choose the what atmosphere you want this map to be. For this one, I this is a very bland map, so obviously it's going to be like a little bit more blue and white. This is just like every other map, but if you really want it to be like green or something, you should probably go through each building, go through the properties, change the color to be purple, green, whatever. Like if you want this to be like a purple based map, you can go through each color. Just do that, like something like this. And then you want you probably want something like this, like a little purple, purplish kind of look to your map. Just like so. Uh, if you want fog, so like this is when the car it's all over here, and you're looking at buildings in the very far distance. Is the fog color would be like? I tend to put it the same color. It's sort of a darker color as the map, um, but I mean it doesn't really matter that much. And then finally, the metals, your diamond time, and all that. Um, once again, these are in milliseconds. Your uh, points for getting your diamond medal, gold, silver, bronze medals are all right there. You can generate your full time. I haven't really done that for any of my maps. I've actually calculated how long it would take me to finish this map. Uh, from what I saw, it took me about 30 seconds, so that's about 3,000, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember, I'd probably Google calculate it, uh, 30,000, 3,000, 30,000, it was 30,000, I think that's right, you know what, let's just check, uh, how many milliseconds is 30 seconds, uh, it's 30,000, that's correct, okay, 30,000, but it's like 40,000, Make this 50,000. 50, and bronze will be 60,000. Take you a whole minute to complete this linear track. <laughs> uh, your points this is what you determine for how many points will take your diamond. Normally, I do zero. I don't know. I just I don't like having the idea that points is what bases your uh, your medals. But I think that's probably for speed and style. This is for your own map, not for mine. You know, just customize it however much you want. So, basically you're done, let's just uh, I'll add music at the very end actually. Uh, just go through everything, make sure, play test it, make sure each checkpoint works, just keep finding out, see if there's any possible route that might make the user cheat or something, something that you don't like. Just go through every, every uh, nook and cranny in your map basically. This is fairly linear so it doesn't really matter that much and this is just a test track, obviously. So, just, uh, yeah, these are all the objects, obviously. And pretty much, pretty much done. Save it. Get like the best view angle you want. This is what's going to be shown in the Steam Workshop. So like maybe I like, I think I like this angle somewhere like right there. I like this type of angle. Something like that, yeah. Just like this shows like all these rings and this lights everywhere. This is what's going to be shown in the workshop. Let's get rid of these windows actually. This whole thing. This is what's going to show up. Uh, maybe actually this looks like this. I think this looks good. So save it, save what you like, and then uh, save and publish the Steam Workshop, and that's pretty much it. The test track will show up on the Steam Workshop. Uh, from there, you can edit the uh, title and description. I can actually show you that right now on one of my existing um, tracks. So let's go to uh, Ryan. This is Community Hub. Let's go to the workshop. It's, these are all the maps that have been made by m many users. Let's go to my optimal routing map. So this is what is displayed um, right here. This is what's shown the level editor. That's what this this is going to show up as. Um, these screenshots will not be there, and the videos won't be there. It'll just show this onto here. Um, I went ahead and took screenshots in in game and videos and uploaded them too. Uh, so in your Steam Workshop, it'll show like an awesome com community created level. Um, you can obviously edit the title and description of it. Uh, all this. Let's go back. 
you can add images and videos obviously uh, when you upload it to YouTube you put the video URL in here you choose an upload images which is right here let's go back and yeah that's pretty much it all the comments and your subscribers and everything Ooh, favorite didn't know that um but yeah and your ratings so and then once you're done you just save and uh, save and save and publish to the humor shop um let's make sure it's sprint yeah so then when you quit the main menu actually oh I forgot the music oh well I will forgo the music you go to your arcade you go to soul sprint your levels will show up as blue um the down the levels you download are green the official levels are white so obviously test track is in blue right now right now and right here you can see the uh position of the camera I want it to be like um if you subscribe to your own track or subscribe to another one it'll show up right here with the workshop level and the times and everything so then click yes let's go let's test out our test track for the tutorial thanks for watching it's been a really good time